Good morning, Kane Nation, and welcome to the morning news for Friday, February 23rd, produced by the iNews. I'm Madeline Leitry. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then pause for a moment of silence. Now to Mr. Sprinkle with our Students of the Week and our Hurricane Hero. Good morning, I'm Brian Hurricanes. Welcome to another fantastic Friday here at the best high school in Mobile County Public School System. That time of the week we recognize our students for their commitment to excellence in the classroom. Uh, so our Students of the Week this week are Allie Parker, uh, that's Leroy Murray, Allie Parker and Leroy Murray, Brooklyn Brown, and Makia King, my buddy, Makia King, senior. Congratulations to our students of the week. We appreciate your commitment to excellence. And our Hurricane Hero Award, just for the second time in school history, our girls uh, reached the Sweet 16 in basketball is Coach Peacock. So congratulations to Coach Peacock and our lady basketball team on a great season. Uh, guys, remember, the countdown to ACT is on. I have to have every junior on this campus who's enrolled in Bryant High School here on March 12th to take the ACT. Remember, you guys can be out of uniform. We're gonna have breakfast for you. Tons of incentives for those who come. And remember, for those who show up that day, take the test. We got our big celebration at the end of the year uh, for our celebration of excellence. I mean, I've got six food trucks lined up. We got Duncan booths. We got all the things we had last year with the National Guard, rock climbing walls. It's gonna be a really nice event but you have to earn that right to be there by showing up and giving your best effort. That means you can't go in there in five minutes and put your head down because that's not your best effort. Show up, give your best effort. That's all I'm asking you to do, guys, and we're all capable of that. Let's have a great day here at Alma Bryant where excellence is the expectation. Thank you, Mr. Sprinkle, and good morning, Hurricanes. May we now have your attention for the morning news. Students, just a reminder that prom fees increase on March 4th. Also, make sure that you get your ticket now. Also, make sure if you're planning on bringing an outside date, you must have the form signed by Mr. Sprinkle. Good luck to all of our students competing in the VEX Robotics State Competition in Auburn this weekend. Your hard work and dedication are truly commendable and we are rooting for your success. Exciting news, the Royal Closet is back to make prom dreams come true. Hosted by St. John's Church in collaboration with the Mobile County Public School System, this wonderful initiative provides prom attire to students in need. Mark your calendars for March 1st, 2nd, 4th, and 10th when the closet will be open to the public. Visit us at 1707 Government Boulevard in Mobile to find your perfect prom attire. Remember that you must have a student ID or a school report card present. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to sparkle and shine at prom. The Drone Squad finished second and third place yesterday in their regional competition. Next, the team is shooting for a national rank. Congratulations to these students. Attention all high school seniors. It's, out, it's free college application week. This fantastic opportunity allows you to apply to over 52 year and four year colleges and universities across the state without any application fees. Don't miss out on this chance to take the next step towards your future. Now to Jackson with our sports. Thank you, Adeline. The JV and varsity baseball teams will be hosting Alberta this afternoon. The JV team will start at 5 o'clock and the varsity at 7. Get your tickets and come out and watch the Hurricanes. If you can't make it in person, tune in on the iNetwork YouTube channel for live coverage. Congratulations to the JV boys soccer team on their 3-1 win over St. Paul's last night. The win moves their record to 2-0-1 on the season. Their next game will be on Monday, Zerlot Park. JV girls play 5 p.m. and boys at 6.30. Go support your Canes. Good luck to your varsity soccer team as they travel to St. Paul's to compete this afternoon. Also, safe travels to our varsity softball team as they compete in Gulfport softball tournament over the weekend. Now back to Adeline with more news. Thank you, Jackson. Today's lunch is pizza, salad, fruit juice, and milk. Our restaurant and beverage pathway is having a fundraiser to raise money for our trip to compete in the state competition for FCCLA. They will be selling nachos today in G9. Make sure to get yours and support FCCLA. Students, remember that the ACT is right around the corner. Make sure that you take advantage of all the tutoring sessions that are being offered. So far, we are seeing tremendous growth of those who have attended the ACT Crunch sessions. This concludes our morning news for Friday, February 23rd. We thank you for tuning into the iNetwork, and we'll see you again tomorrow for more morning news. And remember, it's always a great day to be a hurricane.